Inserting text in Staffpad is easy, but there's a couple of things you should know. First is that there's only one kind of text in Staffpad, and the app uses placement to figure out which kind of text you're creating, whether it's dynamics, technique, or tempo related. So to add text to the score, long press where you'd like the text to go and choose insert text. Type what you want with the keyboard and you can toggle some additional formatting options here to make the text bold, italic or contained within a box. Regular text, playing techniques and tempo text is entered above the staff, whereas dynamics and expression text are entered below the staff. So I'll insert a tempo by triggering the insert text command above the staff and typing a number. I can choose different values from the suggestion tiles. And if I start typing tempo words, you can see I get some suggestions for those too. And I can simply tap one to enter it. I can also enter technique text. So I'll add a pizzicato instruction above the staff on the violins. Long press where we want the text to go and choose insert text. I'll write pits for pizzicato. And now I can play the score back and hear this come back to me as a pizzicato. When I want to go back to Arco, I long press, insert text and write Arco. For dynamics, I can draw the most common symbols with a pencil, like piano, mezzo forte, mezzo piano, etc. But I can also create them with text. So I'll long press below the staff and write a dynamic followed by some text, like MF Espressivo. And here, a forte dolce. I can move text around with the pencil, you just drag it left or right, and you can stack text too by simply moving it on top of each other. You can always edit text at any point by just single tapping on it with your finger. Lyrics are another form of text altogether and follow some different rules. To create lyrics, long touch under the staff, as that's where lyrics normally go, and choose add lyrics. Now I can start writing my lyrics, but when I press the spacebar, the cursor will automatically jump to the next note. Backspace will move it back to the previous note. So use a hyphen to split a word into multiple syllables. And an underscore to add an extension line if the lyric is to be sung over multiple notes. Again, to edit a text segment or a lyric segment at any time, I can just tap on it and make my adjustment. I can add an additional verse by long pressing again where I want to begin my new verse and choosing add verse after or add verse before. I can also remove my lyrics either by deleting the individual lyric segments with the pencil or by long pressing and choosing remove verse. Additionally, it's possible to copy and paste lyrics in if you've already written them out in another app. I'll just copy these lyrics from pages. Go back to staff pad, long press, add lyrics, and press paste. The final kind of text is chords, but we'll look at that in another video. You can quickly enter formatted chord symbols as text above the staff by long pressing above the staff and choosing insert chords. Uh, from here I can write my chord symbol, for example F major 7, and the app will format it into a rendered chord symbol. We'll look at that in more detail in the chords video. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next.